there's really no mistaking a chow chow when you meet one. He's a singular dog with unusual physical characteristics and a distinct temperament. They are proud and independent, and make very loyal companions. From grooming advice to common health conditions, this video covers the key things you should know about this fox-colored dog, with his distinct blue tongue. The Chow Chow is believed to be one of the oldest dog breeds, originating in China 4,000 years ago. Speaking of how the Chow Chow came to be, there have been several theories. But since the breed has been around for a long long time, there is debate. One theory is that he is a cross between the Samoyed, from Siberia, and the Mastiff of Tibet. But experts in the breed believe that the Chow's blue-black tongue contradicts that notion and shows that he is probably one of the original dog breeds. One of this breed's most distinctive features is its uniquely colored tongue, which is a curious shade of blue-purple-black. The color is so distinctive, in fact, that a more normal, pink tongue in a Chow Chow is enough to demonstrate that it isn't purebred. That is, unless the dog is very young. Newborn Chow Chows have pink tongues that change color within a few months. Many people compare the Chow Chow's temperament to that of a cat, reserved, independent and stubborn. That iconic double coat may look good, but it can cause issues around water. The heavy fur can weigh the dogs down when wet leading to some lackluster swimming skills. If you don't know how your chow will fare in the water, it's best to exclude them from trips to the beach or pool. The chow chow has a thick, puffy coat that gives him a fluffy appearance. Beneath this outer fur lies a soft, woolly undercoat, while the hair is thicker around the head and neck and forms a mane. You should brush your chow chow's coat every day to keep it in good condition and prevent molting. As heavy seasonal shedders, your dog's coat will need extra care at certain times of the year. You'll also need to use different types of brushes for his legs and body, and make sure you brush him when his coat is wet, otherwise his hair will break. Bathing your chow chow once a month is all that's necessary. You should brush your dog's teeth daily to remove plaque and bacteria. You'll probably notice that your dog is highly sensitive about people touching his feet, so when trimming his nails, every six weeks, be very gentle. The Chow Chow belongs to the utility dog group, and has a distinct lion-like appearance, thanks to a full and bushy coat that stands away from his body. While he has excellent manners, he is not very sociable and often forms an attachment to just one person, making him less suited to family life. The Chow Chow is a bit standoffish, and likes nothing more than his own company. His long auburn coat needs to be brushed daily, and he will need shade from the heat in summer months. Typically he will weigh from 18 kilograms to 32 kilograms, when fully grown. A healthy Chow Chow can live up to 10 years. Although this is not a high-energy breed, your dog will need regular exercise. He will enjoy brisk daily walks, whether it's a stroll around the block or a walk to the local park. Due to his naturally independent ways, a Chow Chow puppy will also benefit from being socialized from an early age, so he is used to being around other animals and people. When it comes to meal times, your dog's diet should be a good quality diet. As Chow Chows have sensitive stomachs, You'll need to keep an eye on your pet in case he falls ill. Feeding him two meals a day will ensure his stomach isn't overloaded. 
as with all dogs, how much you feed him will depend on his age and size. Chow Chows need all of the usual vaccinations, flea and tick control, and dental checks to go on to lead a healthy life. But it's worth being aware of some of the more specific ailments which can affect this breed. So you can look out for any symptoms. This breed suffers more than any other from heat stroke and can have dyspnea, difficulty breathing, especially on a hot day. The Chow Chow's coat is dense and heavy and you will need to ensure you keep him cool in summer. Be especially careful he doesn't overheat in the car, and ensure he is never left in the car alone. You can use fans to cool him at home and walk him only during cooler parts. This breed may be susceptible to joint problems in his hips, elbows and knees. In particular, he could develop arthritis or hip dysplasia, a condition in which the thigh bone doesn't fit snugly into the hip joint, and is commonly diagnosed between 6 and 12 months of age. Clinical signs for both conditions vary and include lameness or stiffness in one or both hind legs. Skin diseases or conditions such as dermatitis or eczema, mange or bacterial skin infections are common in the Chow Chow. Due to his thick coat and heavy folds of skin, you can help your dog by cleaning his skin folds daily to keep them free of debris and bacteria, which will help to prevent infection. Antiseptic skin cleansers are available from the chemist or your vet. Because of the tight ligaments in his hind legs, the Chow Chow can be prone to ruptured cruciate ligaments within his knee joints. Look out for lameness in one or both of your dog's back legs. If you suspect there is a problem, take him to see your vet where he will be examined and possibly x-rayed. 